as the story goes, the late Paul Newman and his longtime fellow acting wife Joanne Woodward, now in her 90s, initially met in 1953 when they were both cast members in the play Picnic, him making his Broadway debut and she as an understudy. Though Paul Newman was married at the time and she was a particularly hot ticket on the dating scene, they developed a friendship and went on to co-star in The Long, Hot Summer a few years later. By the time the movie was released in 1958, Newman had finalized his divorce and wed Woodward in a Vegas ceremony. Not only would the couple go on to have a lengthy 50-year marriage until Newman died in 2008, during which time they collectively racked up several awards, for popular titles ranging from Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid to The Three Faces of Eve, but they also shared a colonial revival-style residence home in Beverly Hills during the early 1960s. This unique masterpiece popped up on the market at a smidge under $8 million, as first publicized by The Hollywood Reporter. In this video, we walk you into Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward's $8 million 1960s Beverly Hills house. Last sold in spring 2021 for $7.35 million to Taylor and Crichton, daughter of the late Jurassic Park author Michael Crichton, the white two-story structure was originally built in 1937. Updated in the years since, the four-bedroom, five-bathroom abode is tucked away behind walls and a gated brick driveway on over an acre of land near Mulholland Drive. The home features a little more than 4,200 square feet of living space, boasting of decorative molding, ample built-ins, large windows, dark hardwood floors and high coved ceilings throughout the house. Among the highlights is a living room anchored by a black marble fireplace embedded in a wood accent wall adorned with sconces, along with a formal dining room. A gourmet kitchen is outfitted with cobalt blue cabinetry, tile backsplashes, an Eden Island and top-tier Viking appliances, plus a walk-in pantry with wine storage, and French doors open to an alfresco dining terrace. Upstairs, the primary bedroom is spotlighted by a private balcony, walk-in closet, and spa-like bath equipped with dual vanities, a freestanding soaking tub and separate shower, and elsewhere is an office and a spacious roof deck. The amenities continue among the tiered and greenery encased grounds, which host a loggia sporting built-in barbecue, stone fireplace and sofa swing, as well as a pool and spa and bocce ball court. There's also a detached two-car garage on the property. How does one build a pool up a hill? That is one stunning features of this home. What part of this spectacular ancient home aroused your curiosity or creativity? Leave your comment in the comment section and give this video a like. Support our channel by subscribing for more of such amazing house stories and iconic property design ideas.